Hello to all the CMA aspirants out there. I've got this question. As you can see, the comment uh, on this particular video stating that, sir, how should we complete the two-year work experience requirement after completing of masters? Not completing of bachelors. After completing of masters, how should we complete this two years of experience? And uh, because most of the students say that they want to do their job, start with their job after they complete their masters. So that's what is the comment uh, here and that's what is the question that sir, please make a video on it so that we can get started with the CMA journey. So here is that video. So if you also have that same question, then you need to make sure that you watch this video till the end because I'm going to give you a lot of clarity if you're thinking about when should I apply for my work experience, when should I start working, uh, which organization should I work, that also I'm going to talk about in this particular video. It's going to be a really simple video. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe and share this with CMA aspirants. I'm going to be honest here. In fact, uh, yesterday I got a call from a student. The student said that, uh, sir, what is the route map to do CMA? When should I do? Matlab, should I start my CMA, then get started with my work experience and my bachelor's together? Or should I do it uh, after my bachelor's or after my master's? The thing is, there is no right route for it. Okay. If you ask me personally, I completed my work experience before only before even I started uh, CMA. And I started somewhere at the age of uh, 19, 20, 20, 21, I started at the age, uh, the CMA and I completed it within one, one, one year, I completed my uh, CMA. So now here, the thing is, there are people out there who complete their CMA and then go for work experience. There are few people who are there who have work experience and then do the CMA. It actually does not matter for you okay, should you do it after your bachelor's or your master's. The thing is, what you want to do in your life matters a lot. Suppose if you want to get into a job, get into a job, don't even wait for your bachelor's to get over, get into internships. Get into internships, your internships will be counted off half of the experience, get into internships. Or, you know, join a small organization and try working out everything in there. The role of the accountant is not just bookkeeping and stuff it's more of understanding business and taking decisions in business and how are you able how will you be able to take decisions in business will be based on will be based on only and only how much experience you have in seeing how that business is running if you know how that business is running what are the things to be done in the business then you will be more successful the whole concept the whole idea about when should i start working whether it should be after bachelor's or after master's. So my answer here for you, my dear student is that no matter when, just get started with working. The more earlier you start working, the better it would be for your career to move forward. Don't think that okay, what would be the right route? What would be the right route? Understand this. There is no right route. There is no exact perfect direction which you need to follow. There's nothing like that. And there's nothing going to be also like that. The only thing is you experience, you experience that, okay, I did it this way. If you ask me as a student, if you ask me, I, I, I am a student, okay. Did everything happened as you planned in your educational journey? The answer is no, never. It did not happen at all. What I thought before starting CMA, what I will do later, did that happen? No, no, not at all. What happened was much better. Actually, I did not think about that much. At that point, what I thought about that, if I'm doing this qualification, I'll be getting, you know, business acumen. I'll be understanding how to run business. I'll be understanding how to take decisions in business. That's what I thought. And that's what I did this qualification. And that helped me. I hope you guys are getting it that see, you need to have that what you want to do further in your life. I had this clear that I want to run business, no matter what it would be, I, sh I should be running business. I should be taking decisions, should be challenging for me. And it was challenging for me. Achha, do you think that after doing the CMA, was it a cakewalk for me to get into a career anywhere? No, even after getting the CMA, you need to learn so much of things because the world is evolving. When I was doing CMA, big data, data analytics was not there. 
but now i am learning that i have learned it now i'm teaching it also to the cma students itself that how you can use this data analytics and all in your cma or in your career if you want to so the whole concept the whole idea of this particular video is that do not get into okay when should i start my experience when should i you know uh, upload my experience nothing like that get started and then and then i'll 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 uh, you know when i was at the age of uh, exactly i'll tell you 19 years of age there was a person who i remember not person i respect a lot uh, he was triple qualified he was a ca cma and a cs and he qualified all these triple qualification in 2008 and he was teaching us economics back then in those days in 2011 So I met him in uh, 2012 after completing my CPT, IPCC, and all that stuff. And then I asked him that, "What do you advise me to do? What do you advise me to do?" And at that moment, he was just just sitting. I had the opportunity to sit with him at that time for some work we were talking about, and that work was done. And then I was talking about, "What would you advise me on the career? What should I do?" Then he said me. He gave me few options. He said that if you want to get into a job. get started with internships as early as possible if you want to start a business start it now only or join a small organization right now only go join that small organization right now you will learn lots and lots of work there if suppose you want to do an mba and then start a work don't do that he said me right away he said me that don't do an mba and then do a business get started start experiencing what happens in business and then go for an mba after 5 7 years or after having good amount of experience then only go for an mba and that too from a b school that's what he said me at that point now i realized that yes that is the best thing which should be done and moreover you not have that ke whatever you plan you will be able to do it you will not be able to do that there are lots and lots of stuff and that's what i would suggest to you also that don't over evaluate your situation right now ke masters bhi karna hai bachelors bhi karna hai and all that stuff literally i'm telling you i have a masters of commerce uh, i have bachelors of commerce also i have a cma i have ca inter lekin jab kabhi bhi kahin pe bhi ja kar main i talk about these stuff no i don't talk about these qualifications which i have what i talk about is what skills i have like suppose if i am going to talk to some person i'll say that okay i am a person who can develop your business i am a person who can think about how to grow your business if you are a business owner i can sit with you i can give you consultation on how you can grow your business and i am going to charge for it that's what i'll do that's what as a freelancer as an entrepreneur i'll do rather than or in fact that's what my preference is that does not mean that you also need to do that the point here is if you want to get into a job into a consulting organization go get it but don't wait the earlier you start working the earlier you start working the better it is for you i made this video i did not intend to talk about these many stuff but the question was really concerning ke masters ke baad experience gone are those days gone are those days the world is evolving there are different different career opportunities getting created in fact in a, for a cma more of the work should be towards improving businesses and how are businesses functioning right now where are the businesses going right now that you need to know where are the business like what is the latest trend how finance is going to get affected i'm going to put up more videos about you know how this data analytics or how this artificial intelligence is going to affect your job how would be your role out of it and in fact for the cma i have started uploading the mcq sessions i do five mcq sessions on a regular basis you see that uh, computer that set up after this uh, video i have to go there and uh, uh, you know record that uh, five questions of uh, cma i am uploading it every alternative day and if suppose you are aspiring to do the cma you can join into my classes right there uh, you know i take up all those online classes in here uh, most of the time it is live but if you want to get with the recorded also if you want to have your own pace setup then you can do that also and reach out reach out to us thank you for subscribing to our channel thank you for watching this video till here thank you for being patient or for listening to me for this long uh, really grateful to you all people you know asking me questions like these and uh, getting clarity about it 
I hope that this video is helpful. If yes, then put it down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.